Hello. So this um, video is best protein powders for losing weight. If you're embarking on a weight loss journey, a super potent ingredient that has been shown to help you lose and maintain weight is protein. And opting to get more of it through a clean protein powder is an easy way to do it. But with so many options out there, which protein powders are best for weight loss? Protein plays a big role in weight loss because it keeps us full and satisfied so that we make it to our next meal without snacking in between. It can also help you increase and maintain muscle mass, something necessary to burn fat, even when you're not working out. But not all protein powders are created equal, and you want to make sure you're choosing one that will support, not derail, your weight loss efforts. So, one of the main suggestions here is to focus on unsweetened kinds. They won't add any sneaky sugars that could actually be sabotaging you. And remember, protein powders shouldn't be used as a meal replacement, says Megan Bird and RD and Organ. Protein powders don't have enough calories or nutrients to be actual meals. Instead, protein powders can be used to make snacks like baked goods and smoothies healthier and more filling while adding to their nutritional content. Still, it can be hard to sort through everything on the market, so here are a few tips to narrow down your options. So, what should you be looking for when you look for protein powder? Well, the first thing first is look for a protein powder that's high in fiber, high in, pro high in protein and low in carbs. These types of protein powders will keep you full longer Curb, cra curb cravings and help you prevent sugar highs and crashes during the day. Some other things to keep in mind when managing your pick is check the label. Make sure you look for something with at least 20 grams of protein, less than 10 grams of total carb carbohydrates, and at least 3 grams of fiber per scoop. You should also look for protein powders that are naturally sweetened using ingredients like monk fruit extract, stativa, and natural flavors. Avoid protein powders that use sucrose, sugar alcohols, and aspartame, and other um, artificial sweeteners such as Splenda. Also suggest avoiding milk powders, milk solid, and gluten, since they are unnecessary fillers that can cause bloating and gastrointestinal issues. Opt for a protein blend if you're going plant-based. Whey, casein, or egg-based proteins are complete proteins, meaning they have all nine essential amino acids that allow your body to better absorb and make the most of your protein source. If you're opting for a protein, a plant-based protein, look for a blend. These can also feature a complete amino acid profile. So looking, look for something with at least 100 to 150 calories per serving. This range is typical average for a protein powder. Anything lower, and I would question the ingredients. Anything higher, and I would assume there are more fats and carbs than needed in that protein powder. Consider the flavor. If you're new to protein powder, start with classic flavors like vanilla or chocolate. And if you don't enjoy them, you can use them by mixing them up into foods like pancakes, waffles, protein donuts, smoothies, and baked items. Also opt for a protein powder made with natural ingredients and added fibers. It's also a bonus when protein powders have extra health benefits, such as added greens, prebiotics, probiotics, essential vitamins, and minerals, and electrolytes. Keeping that in mind, we asked nutritionists for their pick in the best protein powders for weight loss, and this is what they gave. I'm going to grab mine real quick because I kind of want to see from this list how mine um, stacks up. Okay, so this is one I'm currently using. I've kind of switched back and forth between a couple. It's purely inspired organic protein, plant-based nutritional shake. I got it at Walmart. So, it's got 22 grams of protein, which is good. Only 2 grams of sugar, only 4 grams of net carbs, and 5 fiber. So that all looks good. And then only 150 calories. As far as the extra things, there's not anything in there. Um, it's basically just processed egg and tree nut 
ingredients. So stacked up against theirs, mine is actually pretty good as well and an affordable option I found at Walmart. But now let's get to the list. So we have one, Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard 100% Isolate. This protein powder is a mixture of whey protein and hydrolyzed isolate, which means it's not only quick di digesting, but also contains a higher amount of protein per serving than regular whey protein, which is great for building lean muscle. It's also, um, it is also low fat and contains only a gram of carbohydrates for anyone wa uh, watching their carb intake. What's more, since the supp supplements aren't closely regulated, you can feel secure using Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard because the ingredients have been verified by a third party. The next powder is called Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Not only is, vit is vital, colli uh, vital Proteins Collagen Peptides <laughs> packed with 18 grams of protein uh, to stimulate lean muscle growth and help combat cravings, but it also contains 20 grams of collagen peptides which promote joint health as well as hyaluronic acid to keep your skin glowing. The peptides are the perfect addition to your morning coffee, your afternoon smoothie, to get that extra protein boost. And then next we have Garden of Life Meal Vanilla Powder. This vegan protein powder is made from a blend of pea protein, brown rice proteins, and a combination of whole grains, including millet, um, quinoa, amaranth, as well as seeds like chia, flax, and lentil. And then after that, we have number four, which number four is RSP Nutrition Avocollagen Protein Powder. People tend to forget that fat is very satinating, so adding a fat-based product like this one can provide the sanity one needs to prevent overeating later. Plus the elite acids in the avocado oil help fight inflammation and the collagen peptides go easy on the gut and repair damaged tissue and muscles post-workout. And then next we have Number five, Quest Multipurpose Protein Powder. Adding pro powder to smoothies is nice and all, but this pro powder can be baked into peanut butter bars, tossed into tomato sauces, and mixed right into oatmeal. Plus, one scoop has only 100 calories and no sugar since it's simply pure protein, which makes it a perfect addition to any recipe to increase its nutrition density. Now we move on to number six which is Ancient Nutrition Bone Broth Protein Powder. With this bone broth protein powder, you'll get in 20 grams of protein per serving. Not only that, but the blend also contains hydrolyzed collagen. So you'll be giving some extra support to your gut and your skin. Uh, also, I kind of love the ingredients that the powder is made of with natural ingredients. This protein powder has minimal ingredients that are all not, uh, minimal ingredients that are all natural, which is amazing. It also has 20 grams of protein per scoop, is gluten-free, and doesn't have any added sugar. It also has nearly 6,000 positive reviews on Amazon. This powder is a fan favorite. You don't have to stick with your basic vanilla flavor. It's also available in chocolate and turmeric, too, unless you prefer the unflavored option. Number seven, we have Iso Pure Whey Protein Isolate Powder. Instead of adding a spoonful of honey or cocoa uh, powder to your mo morning oatmeal, sprinkle a serving of this powder on top instead since it's sweetened with monk fruit, rounding out its sugar con count to only three grams. It packs a huge punch of protein, 25 grams to be exact, in addition to satisfying even the pickiest sweet tooth. Then we move on to number eight. Um, this is organ grass-fed whey. Organ. Okay. It's spelled like O-R and then gain. So organ. It's simple. Tasty protein powders are often hard to come by. 
but this one is a superior option. Um, this one, snag this one when you want a good protein powder with zero artificial ingredients or sweeteners. And then we move on to number nine. Um, Accent Native Fuel Mixeller Casein. Okay, so this only uses natural ingredients and it has 25 grams of protein for only 110 to 130 calories, depending on the flavor. It's also an excellent source of all essential amino acids. And then number 10, we have Naked Nutrition Egg White Protein. Naked Nutrition uses clean ingredients and non-GMO eggs. And the other only other ingredient is sunflower lichen. It doesn't have any added sweeteners or colors, and it's it's packed 25 grams of protein for 110 calories. And then we have my last one, number 11, Nat Nativa's Organic Cacao and Greens Essential Blend. This is a great blend um, that consists of pea, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax, and hemp. also adds the added greens for fiber as well so it has as well as probiotics for health gut health which solidifies its place on the list of best protein powders for weight loss so that's it for this video thank you for watching